Hello everyone, welcome to How to Draw Your Dragon. In this episode we're going to draw dragon heads. And these are very important because they are the main part of your dragon, assuming he has a head. So, we're going to start grabbing some references. It's highly suggested that you do, because it will help you see how dragons are made, what their shape is, and you might question like where, where are you supposed to get the reference, right? Well, the good news is you can find it in any animal, because every animal has a skull, including us. So you can copy it from horses, from reptiles, from birds, from anything at all. And I had some of the references put together here, and now I just have to find them. Here they are. No, 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 no wait a second. I have to find them because my computer kills everything. Oh, here it is. Wait a second, let me see if I can just grab it and put it here. Apparently not. Hmm, ah, oh, here it is, okay. Sorry about that. So here it is, here's my, my other piece of references. So, it's a big document. And you'll see that I grabbed them from the internet, so there is no copyright infringement intended. I just wanted to show you different, um, well, animals. So I think this is a snake, uh, a dog, a bird, different reptiles, another snake, a horned lizard, a Komodo dragon, a small alligator, this is another animal that's a mammal, it's not a reptile, snakes, and another cool, absolutely amazing sculpture of a dragon. Because this angle is hard to draw, so we were going to reference it later, okay? So, I have these pictures, you can reference them from the internet, that's okay, as long as you learn. And don't just copy them as they are, they are because it's not, that's not good. So, I wanted to start with... Well, just drawing a simple head of a dragon. And we can probably just grab a normal brush or a pencil brush, that also works. I choose black as my main color because that shows it better with full opacity and full flow. So how about we grab one of our references from here, whichever you like, I think. This one looks cool because he's a, a beautiful creature. He's not a skull, but you can see what we're going to do with it. So resize it. To grab reference is to copy, as I said, to learn from it. It's a little pixelated. Please ignore that. And you can lower the opacity on your animal. And in a different layer, you will draw the face. So try to draw first the shapes of the animal you see. For example, you can see the base of his top part of the skull is right here. And as you can see, he has like a little bump here. So try to draw everything you see. So this will be a different side of the head. Try to think of it as a shape. the art block. Well, <laughs> we're going to use him again. So he's a cube. Try to draw like different sides. Like this is no light here. This is a little light. And there's light comes here, right? Just try to figure it out like a shape. If you were going to draw a pyramid, it's the same thing. You see that the shape of this dragon is almost like a rectangle. But it's, it's the same idea if you have a sphere. Shadows, light, etc. So, you probably have a sphere here. And a little, like, kind of rectangle thing. As you can see, you have, like, another shape here. And try not to go on board with all the details this animal has, like the scales or the nose. Right now, don't. Don't try that. You'll just get frustrated. So try to f figure out like the shape of the animal. Now, as you can see, if you hide your layer, you'll see you have a basic shape. Oh my 
good. Ooh, so you have a basic shape of your your dragon head. And then you'll see the neck, but the thing with this animal is that he is short in stature. And you might see many dragons have like their, their heads like this, and their necks go like a long way. And this animal is like this, and that's his body. So, you have a short neck. And you might have different dragons with different shapes, and it doesn't matter. You can still draw them. Try to figure out like the neck from here, like it might be connected. Well, it might be here, really, not, not up there, but you can try to draw his shape like this. You can see in the episode we're going to make about scales, how they're positioned, and you will see there are many planes in this animal. Try to draw over the folds of his skin, try to figure out the, the movement of the skin. Not, not the details, just like try to do shapes over it, like this. Like, this looks a little weird. You'll we'll see why, because there are different muscles underneath the neck. So you might just want to have a, a go at many animals and find their shapes, their folds and everything. You can find, a, I don't know, a deer, a giraffe. They have different necks and they work, well, in different ways. But it's also very useful to learn how to draw like any kind of animal. So I will just look for a giraffe and copy it. You can probably have a different animal if you want. I'm just going to choose a pretty giraffe. There's a dragon giraffe going around the internet. It's made in DeviantArt. And I really love watching that thing. So here we have a giraffe. We're probably going to only select our giraffe for now. Because there's some background there. We don't want it. So we have a giraffe here. I'm gonna make it bigger for us. Pixelated. Doesn't matter. Grab something better than me, please. So you'll see the, the main shape. It's probably going to be in a different color because this doesn't show. Yeah, you can see it now. And figure out the neck. Doesn't have to be perfect, just grab the idea. So this is the neck. You see it's longer, and it resembles more a, well, a long-necked dinosaur, or a dragon. You can see, you can find your dragon now from here. Of course a dragon wouldn't have these kinds of legs, unless you wanted him to. But that's like the longer neck, and that's how you get a, another reference, you can still see this one. Let me hide this one so you can see it better. What other animal would you like me to reference? There is probably well, a thousand. There's no problem with that. You can go to the panther. It's a gorgeous animal. I love panthers and big cats. So here goes. Here we have a panther. Can make it bigger as well. As you see, it has a short neck as well. You can have a do drawings. So. Also try your sphere. If you were gonna draw a dragon, you'd probably just do it, a bigger face. And the neck. And the chest. I recommend you do this with many animals. Many you haven't drawn. So, you can see their poses. Their knees and the legs and such. But we're doing heads, so just focus on the heads here. You see, I elongated his nose. Of course you can copy it as is. But this is a cat, not a dragon. So to make a dragon out of this, you probably want to exaggerate some details, add scales, add wings that will probably go here. So go free with that. There's no limits on dragons. That's why they're cool. So this time we have our other references here. I'm gonna grab this one now. We're gonna no, that's not the one. I said this one. Computer, stop. Thank you. Okay. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it works. So I'll show you a tip. It's not cheating. It's a tip. So listen well. You have your skull here, right? And you can learn from this. You can learn that he has scales. It's a different reptile. So this one has a skeleton that already has scales included. 
So not all of them do, and that's important. You cannot draw scales on anything. If it doesn't have scales, it will look strange. So you can just trace over the scales, learn their shapes, like, I don't know, it has a curve shape, like this, it goes like this. No, wait, I have to choose the yellow one again. So, it's like a, a concave shape, the basics. Semicircle, semi-oval, and the teeth, and everything. Like, just grab the main frame of the creature, and let's do something fun. Based on another animals, we can see, I don't know, that he has a, a neck, the tube neck, remember? Thin, thick, learn the muscles from the necks of other animals, and you'll be able to copy them as they are. Here we have the chest, rudimentary chest, but it doesn't matter. If you want easier access to reference, try to erase the background. So you can, I don't know, copy it in front. And here comes the fun part. Stick it to the other picture, like so. So it becomes one layer and lower the opacity. And I'm going to teach you a fun thing to do. Just, you see, wait, I'm going to change this a little, like this, because we're focusing on the head. So zoom in, grab your pencil, pen, or whatever you're doing. If you're doing this in pencil, you can try to do this with a photograph, grab some um, onion skin paper, I don't know how you call it in English, it's a transparent kind of paper, translucent one. So you can copy on top of your drawing, you can print it, print this, or something like this, or draw it on pencil, then put the transparent paper on top and draw on top of it. And that's the way you can learn if you're using paper and you don't have Photoshop or a tablet. And that's okay if you don't, you can still learn. So on top of your layer, a different layer, not the one you were drawing in, try to have your head, a different dragon head. We're going to draw a dragon based on this creature. You see, this, this is the eye socket. If you're doing a cartoon dragon, his eye could be like this, and it will look so cute. But the thing with realistic dragons, if you're making one, is that their eyes don't look like that at all. So this is an eye socket, but it will be co covered with skin, and probably his eye should probably just be a little thing like this, and it will look creepy and evil. <laughs> and you can have his scales, or not, if you choose not to. And remember, we were using this as a reference only. So you don't have to copy it exactly as it is, like the teeth, for example. You can copy them if you want. But I'm gonna do something different. For example, you can do longer teeth. Keeping in mind that if you go overboard, like with like this, it doesn't look good. So don't try to be so funny with it. Just stick to a piece of the reference and draw something that makes sense, not like buck teeth or something on your dragon. If it's a cartoon, you can have freedom with that, but if not, it will look strange. So here we have like the basic shape of our dragon. He looks angry. And remember, references can be altered, so go ahead, add some spikes to your dragon. Don't be afraid to do that. If it doesn't look good, erase them and start again. It doesn't matter. You're learning. So we're gonna add some horns, elongated horns. And a stick here. Whee. We're going to learn some do's and don'ts of dragon heads as well. And they are very important. So here's a head based on this thing here. Okay. Now I'm going to teach you something that's important with another skull first. I'm probably gonna grab this one because it it works fine with what I want to do. Now let me see if it works. So we're gonna grab this here, move it here, probably flip it, the whole thing. <laughs> so we're gonna edit it right here. Okay. Now we're going to like read this skull. As you can see, it's separated from the bottom part. This is top part, 
Yeah. And the bottom part is here. It's hinged together, which means he can open his mouth like this and close it. The top part, this part, never opens and closes in animals. The only part that opens is this one, as in a human. The, the mouth, this part doesn't move. It stays like it is, and this one can move here, 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 like, it's a hinge. It moves. So there's an important thing to consider when you're making your dragon design, and it's this. If you wanted to have horns in your dragon, you can probably add them here, 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 and here, and pretty much anywhere here, and anyone here, but, and here comes the, the thing, don't ever have a horn that interlocks with the horn here. So I'll hide this for a little while so you can see what I'm talking about. If you have a horn here and this horn goes on top of this, like like this, okay, let me erase this. Ta -da, like, you have a horn, right? And this horn goes on top of this. Now, what will happen when your poor animal tries to open his mouth, he won't be able to because you locked it with this and he will starve to death and die and it won't work so please never join a horn or a spike or anything to a top horn because remember these are two different parts of the head and if these two are together you won't be able to make your animal move his mouth or it will be really uncomfortable it's the same as if you make a fan go all the way around his mouth that just looks weird and it doesn't work have you seen any other animal that has that? No, exactly. Nature is wise, people. So don't try to join the fans or the horns with the other horns. This is okay, This it's fine. If you wanted a horn that goes like this, that's also fine. There's another thing also that won't be good for your animal. Imagine if this one had a horn that went like this inward. This goes like in. It has skin here. And when he turns his head, this little horn here is going to poke his skin and it's going to rip it and it's going to hurt. He won't be able to turn his head as he's saying no because the horn will rip into his skin. So that's also a no-no for this kind of dragons. Any dragon really. No animal could have that and survive and be happy about that. So I'm going to erase the background a little bit. So, we said the head can have a whole poking horn like this, it can't have a horn sticking to another horn like this. It might look cool, yes, it might, but it's not useful for your dragon. There's also another thing to consider, if your dragon will have big horns, make sure his head can support it. How would you know that if he's not alive? Well. You can find that out in different animals in nature, like moose, for example. They have big horns, but they are, I think, made for them, so they can fight with other moose and such. So if you're going to make a dragon with, I don't know, super, super big horns like this, just make sure they are either hollow on the inside or they're logical or made with some sense. You probably want to add some ornaments to them, and that's fine, but your poor animal will have his head like this on the floor, his little neck like this all bent and he won't be able to stand and that will hurt him. So think about the animal before you make him because he's not gonna be happy if you put all this in his head. Or probably a horn like this and just don't be cruel with your dragon. Remember, if he were alive, he would probably cry and tell you please don't make horns this big for me. Joking. He probably won't cry, he's a big dragon after all. So, now that we talked about the no's with your dragon, let's talk about the yeses. And the yeses are do any kind of horn you want. I'll show you again this one. You see this? These horns? Wow, they're so gorgeous, but look at that. Many dragons have them, and that's because they're awesome to reference, and a lot of people like to draw on them. It's, well, they're easy to draw on. Like, try to copy their shapes. Like, this is a basic rectangle, and there goes a different area of the horn. And this is a side, that's another side. And 
They have many details. Try to copy anything you can find. <clears throat> like this. It goes in the eyebrow. Look how awesome that is. It's a little tiny lizard, but if you imagine this in a dragon scale, wow. <clears throat> then try to copy the fangs of the snakes. Try to figure out the spikes and the, the, the different, I don't know, sides of the scales. Like you have different rows, rows and rows and rows of scales. Like so many. Okay, try to draw that, try to copy it. Be inspired by nature. This is another dragon. I did not make this. I cannot find the artist, but I will find it. And, well, try to copy on top of other people's art. Remember what I told you to reference is not to steal, but try not to, like, claim it as your own. Post this image on the internet and say, it's mine. This is not. And this goes, like, the shape. It's okay to reference people. Don't, don't you suffer with that. Seriously, I repeat that in every video, but it's because it's true. And I used to be afraid of referencing. Don't do that. Don't be afraid. Just keep doing it. Learn. It's easy and it's fast. So you can see that he has scales, but we're not gonna copy that now. See, this is the angle. And here is the front view. Many people struggle with the front view. I am included in that. Don't think you're not. Like... Try to copy the main shapes you see. Again, make them simple for you. If you're having trouble visualizing something, reference it again, make the figures on top of it. You see? It's simplified and then you see these horns, he made a different set of horns like, like this. From the front view they look quite different. But once you start practicing with different Figures, different animals, you start seeing why they are the way they are. Why they look the way they look, why they have the scales they do, and such. This one has an incredible design. You can copy the design and learn, but try to make your own dragon instead of just copying someone else's. As I was telling you, try to find the distinctive, sh distinctive shapes on the different skulls. They're different creatures, they different eye sockets. You can see it's a small one, this is a huge one, this is a chameleon, I think. This has small eye sockets, but a huge mouth. He doesn't have fangs, as big as, I don't know, a snake. And this one has a different shape on his snout. This, this snake has super interesting fangs, very long on the front and very short on the back. And this one is a bird, and this one is a, a I think it's a dog, but Feel free to correct me. And this time we're gonna focus on this too. As you can see, this is the front view of an animal. And you can do this by yourself, I don't need to, to do it for you, but you'll see like this is a sphere, probably a shape. And all um, animals that are um, meat hunters, as you can see probably in this one, probably a hawk, because of, or an eagle, maybe because of the, the way the eyes are positioned, is because they hunt um, for meat. They, they are carnivores, and carnivores usually have their eyes on front, not on the sides. Herbivores, on the other side, have their eyes on the sides. Carnivores have them more in front. So you can grab your dragon and make him a carnivore just by adding his eyes on front of his face. So we're going to hide all the references. And I don't know what the background is, this color. But that doesn't matter. Let's just change the background for now. This is confusing. Where is my bucket? Bucket, why don't you work? Why is this gray? Ah, okay, doesn't matter. Let's see. We're going to make an, an animal here. Like you have free reign. Once you have the shape of your dragon, you don't really need to keep using the reference until like, you want to find the, the shape again or try to understand it better. What I would recommend you to do, and it's really fun, is look for dinosaur pictures, dinosaur skulls, preferably, instead of illustrations, because they might have errors and you might be copying them. So find dinosaurs around the internet. And see, so you have your own... Funny dragon. Yippee! And here we have the bird one. It's also looking to the front, but we're not gonna make it now. 
we're gonna make this one first. So you can see <clears throat> you have your dragon based on another creature. We're gonna turn them back on. And here it goes. Like you can no. You can hide it. it might look different, it might look cartoony, but it's because it's fast. And I was going to show you. Uh, the bird. This is the bird. You can still do a dragon based on a bird, on a fish, or anything you want. I can make them based in horses, on reptiles, on panthers, felines, dogs, anything that comes into your mind you can turn into a dragon, even cars. And I've done that before. So it's possible. So this was like the, the front view. And you can do the top view looking for a skull like this, which is more... It's not really the top view, but you can see the front of the face and draw on top of it. It's the same thing I've been doing in the whole video. So don't be afraid to, to copy, okay? So we're back to this one little dragon here. So what I will let you do as homework, if you want to do it, of course, but I recommend you do, is try to do the different angles of the heads referencing other animals, okay? Try to, to make simple shapes like the snout, connect them, find out where the eyes are, where the nose should be, what the jaw looked like in, I don't know, in a horse or in a zebra, which are the same animal almost. <laughs> grab a, a cat, grab an alligator, draw on top of their head, try to draw different angles, like if you're making him facing this way, try to find the same shapes again and try to draw them. And try to, to find out why they look the way they do, why they have different angles, why they look longer, shorter, how do they work, why are their eyes placed the way they are. Yeah? And try to do, for example, the top view, again with the same basic shapes. You probably see the eyes like this, little squished. Try to do the back view of your animal, probably looks like this. And the snout goes all the way there. The completely frontal view. Like, have fun looking for different kinds of heads in animals. Practice them, copy them, don't be afraid of that. And just design your own dragon based on the heads you found. Just the head. That can be the assignment for now. Just do a head based on different animals. Make many if you wish. And if you want to show them to me, I will be so happy to see them and to give you comments if you want. I'm also in DeviantArt if you want to, to send me a note there, that's fine. Anywhere you want. And yes, that's all for now, guys. I really hope this helped you. If you want any other thing regarding dragon heads, please contact me and I will probably make another video with more specifics.